Okay, hi Floss Tube. I'm hi. Jen. I'm Allison. And we're Stitching Social. And this is video number 16. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, February the 10th. Yes, we are around the corner from Valentine's Day. I thought you were going to say we're around the corner from each other because we are. <laughs> oh, we are. So when <laughs> yeah. our last video was December 23rd, I believe. And this is the first opportunity we've mm -hmm. had to film another one. So here we are. Here we are. So we're going to today, we're going to talk about some finishes, some whips, and some haul, because uh, a couple weeks ago we went to a needle workshop, mm -hmm. kind of local to us. So Yeah, don't um, on the table. It's sorry. Shake. Yeah, I do she, that every video. I saw that I got two missed calls while I was in my yoga class, so I call her back right away. She's like, we're going to our LNS, be ready, and whatever it was. It was not even a, do you want my to go? My mom and I. My, no, you mom. didn't even tell me that mom was involved at that time. Oh, I just said, I'm, I'm going. What are you doing? I'm going, and it wasn't, do you want to come? It was, I'm going, we are going. <laughs> well, sometimes the, you were going to give me a piece of gum, but you didn't. <laughs> oh, you I didn't ask for one. I did, but then I changed. But then I, I, onions on hers. I have onions on my breath because I literally just had lunch. Anyway, we digress. We sometimes are... the best, okay, going back to what I interrupted my own self. Sometimes the best shopping trips are the most impromptu ones. Because sometimes, like, you don't. Like, you, you didn't even have a shopping list ready. Like, I'd be freaking out if that if someone called me and was like, let's go to a workshop. First of all, yes would be the first answer. And the second thing would be like, what am I going to bring? Or what am I going to buy? I don't go with a list. I do, for floss. If I need something. Well, that's what sparked it, right? You went to Michael's to get one floss and they didn't have it. That's right. All the time. That's you guys, what sparked that ever it. happened to you guys? Mm -hmm. Michael's trip, fail. Mm -hmm. And the floss I ended up buying I already had. I realized when I got home, I'm like, I didn't need 3016. First world problems. Right. Anyway, we digress. So anyway, so we got some exciting things to show you today. Lots of exciting things. One of the no. to me, one of the most exciting <laughs> and things me. and to you and me. is that um I'm expecting. Mm. And expecting what? Expecting a baby. <laughs> is that isn't that self explanatory? Not necessarily. Okay. We were just talking about shopping, so True. So I'm expecting, and mm -hmm. um, my oldest only child. Her second. Yeah, my, I'm expecting my second baby. So my oldest is three and a half, and she is so excited. And from the longest time, she was like, "Nope, mommy." I well, I said to her when we told her that we told her at Christmas time that I was expecting, and she I'm due um, May 24th. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm 25 weeks now. And, um, I told, we told her at uh, Christmas time, we were decorating the tree that I'm expecting. And she was like, oh. She's almost four. Yeah, she's almost four. She'll be four in April. I'm due in May. So, um, so it's perfect timing because she'll be going to school in September. We actually register her for school in, on Thursday. So, um, yeah. So she was super excited. And I said, what do you think? Do you think it's a boy or do you think it's a girl? And she said, oh, it's a girl. Oh, it's there's a girl. no question. There was no question. Like, no, it's no. a girl. And then in she wouldn't front of other brother, it would be return, return to sender. Yeah. So then, um, so then I asked her, or yeah, then she said, no, 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 girl. So then in front of people too, she'd be like, well, what if it's a boy? Cause I, so I'm having a girl and I actually thought that I was having a boy. I thought for sure it was a boy. And I thought it was a boy too. So in front of people, like in front of Allison, I'd be like, tell auntie what you think. Is it going to, you're going to have a brother or a sister? And she goes to the sister. Oh, I asked her, yeah. Yeah. So then when we were getting the ultrasound and they told us um, what we were having, it was so exciting because she was actually there and she got to enjoy it. And the tech said, okay, you're having a girl and congratulations. And and she goes, I know. She's so spicy. I'm hoping for... She needed a sibling. Yeah, she needs a sibling bad. It was like what our mother said about her. Yeah. My mom said when she had... They knew right away. Right away. You are not going to be an you only child. You are not going to be the only child. <laughs> you are going to... And then, I was just talking about this last night with Luke, my husband. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to poke you in the eye. Um, you wouldn't even see it coming except the screen. Um, I was talking with Luke last night and I was saying, oh, it's so funny, the dynamic between my sister and I, because... And I only know this from family videos and from what my mom said. But she's, like, I just told her what to do. And Allison just did and played what I said. Like... Do you feel like that's accurate? Mm -hmm. Like you, I kind of bossed you around. Mm -hmm. You were a good patient when we played doctor. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we're really excited. So that's my biggest whip. And you'll see in my stitching that I'm stitching stuff for the nursery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 
It's out there. Yep. Now you all know. I don't have to hide it anymore. Should I show them? Uh, should I stand up? Sure. Why not? No judgment. We're all friends here. <laughs> so. Yeah. Whoa. That's. You shouldn't have worn stripes. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm getting pretty big. So. Mm. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Every time. I, every time. <laughs> every time I see her, she's bigger. That's what the scale says. <laughs> so. Anyways. So do May 24th. We'll see what happens. So she's getting her stitching in now. Yeah, I'm actually a little... She's blitzing I'm, a bit. I'm glowing a little blitzy. On Because the... I'm worried that I'm not going to get stuff done for the nursery. Wow, and... the two kids at home? Yeah, I definitely... My stitching afterwards isn't going to be... No, not until the first one goes anyway. to school. And then the other one's napping. Maybe you can get some time in. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I got. I did a lot of stitching with Adriana. One thing this time, though, I mentioned in one of our other videos is that I packed stitching magazines to, to look to read I'm sorry. what are you doing i'm literally dying i packed stitching magazines to read while i was in labor yeah that wasn't happening i wasn't going to be doing that when i was in labor no, no no it was very clear that that was overpacking wishful thinking so anyways okay so we both have finished some things so let's show them what okay do you want to we're doing finishes first just let her dog in <laughs> that's the only kids i have um, yeah, okay, I'll go first. So I, well, first of all, I can't show what I've been stitching. Yeah, most of your stitching you can't show. So, yes, so I'm doing model stitching for a tiny modernist. And this is my, one, two, three, fourth, maybe? Fourth project for her. So I've been doing that. So one I'm stitching right now is a bigger project. It's coming out sometime 2019. It's so fun. It's really good. You guys are going to love down. it when you see it. Can yeah. you tell them? Nope. Nothing. Can't say anything. Can't, can't say, say anything. anything? But oh my gosh. the only thing I can say is the fabric is really nice. It's a fabric flare fabric. Mm -hmm. I think it that's, doesn't give anything away. Um, and it's really nice. And I've been really enjoying the piece. I think so. everybody's going to love it when they see it. I'm almost done. So I mm -hmm. probably will be able to get it done this week. She needs it by the end of the month, so gives her some extra time there. Yeah, you've stitched a couple pieces for her now. Yeah, I stitched, um, check out her out, oh, put that down, we can link her below, in case um, anyone, it's new to them, Tiny Modernist, she's Canadian, and she has a Biscorn You of the Month Club, this is, this, I believe, her second year doing it, mm -hmm. and I stitched the February one, it was a mermaid. And the first one was a dragon, and they're really cute. We have to get that. You did the dragon one? No, that was the first one that I did oh, not do. I okay. did her February month, which So was... if you follow Cheryl, Tiny Modernist, on um, Instagram, you can see... And when the mermaid one, Miss Gordon, you came out, I, was, I knew it right away that that yeah, was the like, one. Yeah, she's like, is this the one you stitched? Because she showed me. Yeah. I don't get this. We don't see each other very yeah. often, but... And then she teased also, Tiny Monitors on her Instagram, she teased her one of her market releases that I also did for her, and I think everyone's going to love them. She has such a knack of picking really nice fabrics, and her market release fabric is nice as well. I really enjoyed it, yeah. stitching on that. It was a really fun project. Well, I stitched, on, I, when I, I stitched on Fabric Flare, and I really liked the fabric. Where is it from? From Stitch It Central. No, where's the, or the, it's a, is it a UK company? I don't know. Because right on the fabric, it's... Uh, it's you can't there. show it. But no, but there's a website. I think it's just fabricflare.com. Yeah, I think um, so. So I'll definitely Anyways. have to try out some of yeah. her fabrics, fabric flares. But so keep your eyes peeled for her market release too, because I really liked them. So that's what I've been stitching for the majority of it. Mm -hmm. So You're I... bring it to work and... Yes, I've been doing a lot of stitching. Okay, so, so I do have some finishes. So yeah. I'm working on the hands-on design, a year of celebrations. Sorry, and he just opens the door. Okay, he'll probably want back in later. So the hands-on design, a year of celebrations, she re-released it with two Canadian um, substitutions for July and November. So both of us are working on them. I forgot to bring them. She forgot to bring them. 
But I will show my January. But they're not fully finished anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hers aren't, but my, my January Yeah, mine are. Um, and you see. change the colors. Yeah. Do so. you like doing that? Yeah, I don't mind. Sometimes it, I have to be in the mood to change the colors. Yeah. You're moving it all over the place. I know, because I can't see. I'm on the oh. opposite side. Well, Is do, it I scented? can hold it for you. Okay. <laughs> I'll hold you talk. I need to plump it up a little bit. Yeah, so that's my January. So I just finished it into a pillow. So you can show the back if you want. So it's a, this is on, um, um It's kind of like a bluey. Sky, oh, shoot. Uh, I like the variegation in the, in the snowman. Yeah, that's oatmeal. Sky, is summer sky, summer sky? No. Um, yeah. I'm impressed there's no sky something. Hair on it. You guys know. Oh, I. Pretty. So that's all my own conversions. So if you want me to, to let anyone know, I can let them know. All fancy floss. Yeah, beautiful. Because I, because when I, let me backtrack. The with, snowman and the scarf. Keep talking. With fancy floss, if it's a big project, I tend not to want to do it all in fancy floss because it's expensive. But I've got some medium size, like Plum Streets and whatnot. So I've got all of these. Fancy flosses that I can use, with little but you bits. can't. Yeah, yeah but you bits. can't use them for a big project. Can't use them for a big project unless it's a small area. So. That's why I was so drawn to these monthly. Yeah. This monthly series, and well, actually, the pattern comes all. They come all together, but. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my January. So that's stitched up. So now bit. that it's not January, you're not displaying it. Where no, you keeping? No, it was still up there. <laughs> oh, it was still up there. Oh, okay. Well, it's winter months. And then the next one is Oh, I like that February. fabric. It's like a pink fabric. So I've got... Pretty. I never ironed it. You can. I used a hoop. I'm going to put the hashtag for the um, um, hands... Yeah, the hands-on. There's a hashtag. Oh, yeah. I think I this. used it. A year celebrations, I think. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So this is all my own conversions as well. Fancy floss. I, I really should put my initials on it, too. I just haven't figured out exactly. So it's on a pink remnant, which I have enough to do another one too, or save it for something else. So there's my February. So they're really fun. So I was. Some people have said that that the heart inside their interpretation is that it's a box of chocolates. That would totally make sense. Oh. But I, I got did you fill it in? I did not fill it in, but I've seen some people fill it in. Oh, I didn't fill it in. No. Some people have. Oh, that would be a good idea too. I didn't fill it in. But I used, um, I'll show you another time because I didn't bring it. Yeah. So if anyone wants to know what I used, hit me up. I'll tell you. I really like the, the stamp, what I used. I don't know if it's coming up. Too there true. it is. A year, in, a year of celebrations. I'm going to put it in the drop down menu. Damn blue. So I was doing these in between my commission piece, uh, my model stitching pieces. I think they stitch up fast. Did you already say that? They do. I think they do. I think they But they are really dense. Fast. Like, they're pretty dense. I feel like they were dense. Well, I stitched this in a week on my lunch. Yeah. And I only get an hour lunch. Yeah. Um, and that included the first day of Let's me um, picking all my colors. I yeah. think I posted an Instagram of um, when I was doing all of my picking. Sometimes when I'm picking my own colors for patterns, I feel nervous that I'm not picking good enough. Well, here, did you notice? I don't know. You can check in a minute. But the F is a different color. Oh, I because, can't even, didn't even notice that. Yeah, the F was uh, 839. And then the u berry, um is a different color. And then I'm like, oh, should I... You stitch it with two strands? Yeah. So then I was thinking, oh, should I rip it out? Can you guys, I I'm can't like, even tell. No. No. I'm glad you left it. I can't I'm like, I'm tell. not ripping that out. Because I don't rip out if I Pretty. help it. So how are you going to finish that? Into a little pillow? I'll do another pillow and I'll probably use uh, the same navy fabric. You can't really tell. There's a slight pattern to it. Do I have anything red? No, I think it... I, or pink? You don't... Well, no, you don't think... Blue. Yeah, well, not that it wouldn't be nice, but it'd be nice to have different display. I guess oh. you don't see the back. Yeah, I just thought that this would really look go with the. No, yeah, I, it does go with it. I like it. It's hard to tell with the lighting sometimes. Yeah, and sorry for the. This we'll have to figure out a different setup. We all sat down and we sat down and then we're like, oh, we really should. 
finagled something else. I think it's fine. So those are the two that I did in between um, my other ones that I can't show. But then I also finished my primitive hair on New Year's Cinderella. I finished it New Year's Eve during the day. And I believe I posted on my Instagram Strawberry Stitcher, um, like, oh, can I get this done? Because I had a big chunk mm -hmm. left. And I never did post my finish. So, here it is. I just realized, on that fabric, the, the modeling is only on the front. Yeah, because it's printed. It's country mocha. Mm-hmm. That makes it easy to know what side to do it on, then. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It is only on one side. Good thing I chose the right side. Um, so this is the, so I'm showing this because I did all my own colors. It only call, does it call for DMC? Yep. Yeah. I, oh. so it's DMC. I just kind of assumed it no, was. No, I'm sorry. No, it's DMC, but it's also, uh, two gentle arts, but I chose all of my own colors and I chose not to do the slippers in the corner. Yeah. I agree with the slippers. So it's anchor black. And then I did, can you hold the one side? So I did her top half of her dress, like, you know, back and forth. So that would be stripes. And then I yeah, did, did, I did swirls. And it takes, a little heads up, it takes so much more floss when you do mm -hmm. swirls. In, like, it does, random. you're right. And I don't know if you can tell on the picture, but you can tell where my page, the page was. No, yeah, well, you can't tell. And then I also put some Krennic in the white. Yeah, that's nice. And the stick. Makes it very snowy. No, I didn't put it in the snowflakes, but um, you can kind of... I think it's perfect of, for the dress because that's emphasizing her. You can kind of tell on her bust. I There's jewels. Mm-hmm. There's a jewel? So, well, no, it's no, whatever that is. Oh, yeah, that's a Krennic, yeah. I did Did it you buy a special Krennic for this? No, I just... Because um, it's kind of got a, a little bit of a hint of blue in it. It is. <laughs> oh. So I used white, and then I used the Krennic uh, 1432. So you can... Oh, yeah, that's coming up real blue. Her hair's like the same color as yours. I know. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah. Not that I'm Cinderella or anything like that. But, <laughs> um... So, yeah, you can... Can you tell that this is blue? I'm kind of trying to... Why is that funny? <laughs> because just the way you said it. <laughs> Not that I'm Cinderella or anything. Um, <laughs> you could be Cinderella if you want to be Cinderella. Sure. I so, mean, she was. She was. A, she was a little bit of a doormat. <laughs> yes, I was for her. <laughs> no, not you. No, Cinderella was a bit of a doormat. Yeah, but so am I. Oh, I can, right. I for me. From you can. Except I'm, I'm your getting, real sister, not your stepsister. I'm getting better at uh, standing up. Sometimes. So yeah, this is a really fun project. Um, I have shown the Red Riding Hood as well. I've finished red, yeah. and I picked my own So Snow White's things. next, right? I have Snow White. I've shown it before, I believe, in some of my one of my our other videos. Mm -hmm. mm, maybe I should do that. It is so yeah. yummy. I chose... I like yours way colors. better than the picture. Like, in the picture, the dress is... Like, these pictures don't do it justice. We all know that. Like... I think my colors are better. I think so too. <laughs> but how do they create the variegation in that? Must be there's two mm -hmm. gentle arts. It's on the back. Yeah. Okay. The square pewter. Is... Oh yeah. Each pewter. Yeah, but I bet it's not and... even that blue in person. Like yeah. you know, different dye lots. So nice. I am really excited. This was done. Uh, I took a break in between, and uh, now I really want to do the Snow White. I have that all kitted up. I have them all. Except I don't have Beauty and the Beast. So um, I know that Lori from Once Upon a Stitch, she's working on Snow White right now. She doesn't have Cinderella, so I told her that I'll I'll bring her this pattern when I see her mm -hmm. in August. I bought this. That's one. why I'm not going to the retreat. Yes, we can. That's why she's not going to the Floss Tube New Jersey retreat in August. Is because she'll have a new. And party. that's why I'm not going to McKenna's retreat in April because I was this close to going and I knew yeah. I knew that we were trying for number two and I knew based on what I thought was going to happen that mm -hmm. I wasn't going to make it and it didn't work out for me work-wise for McKenna's retreat but I was able to swing August 
because it's yeah. better timing for me. So I'll be there, and that's she's not going. So me and Kim from Crafty Kim, mm. we're going together. So now I can be truly honest about how much I'm disappointed that I'm not going. I mean, she's already collect. She's the baby will be like three months old in August, but I didn't want to sign up for it because like it's baby number two, and I didn't want to leave my husband with two kids. And you'll be still nursing at three months. Yeah. So. so, and nobody wants a baby at the retreat, seriously. Especially my babies. They're very, like, Adriana was crying a lot. She keeps saying, like, oh, mommy, I'm so excited for her to have a... I'm She's going to struggle. I'm, I know. She's going to struggle. Reality. She kept saying, mommy, I'm going to teach baby how to walk. I'm going to teach baby to do this. I'm going to teach baby to do that. And I'm like, well, that's so fun. But I said, babies She'll cry. Get over it babies quick. cry for a long time. I said, you cried for a long time. So... so. But I'll mm-hmm. um, I've got this to bring for Lori at the retreat so she can finish her collection as well. Oh, I wish I was going. But she's already starting to think about what she wants us to to pick up from. Oh yeah, I'm, from you. I lookers. definitely have a list. I always have a standing list. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't? So can't wait for that retreat. It's counting down. So mm-hmm. that's oh, okay. all I can show. That's all, that's all I got. So. Okay, I'm trying to remember, because I've, in the last video, I'm like, I promise I won't have any finishes for the next video, and then it was so long. Or, you know. I told you, she's blitzing. Yeah, I'm blitzing, right? So, okay, so the first thing I finished was this, this Mill Hill kit. You showed this already. No, but it wasn't fully finished. I have to give myself credit. I don't have time for much, but there. I'm not stitching all these shop models like you. I'm a model. <laughs> you know what? I told this before to everybody. I'm a selfish stitcher. Like, I would be had a hard time giving it back to the designer. This, this and one time I'm is working precious. On now Especially is your gonna... time. You work full time. But I enjoy it. Anyway. And to be honest, I stitch things there and then is. they go in a pile. So if I can help someone out, I'm going to do that. What is that banging noise? My cat. Really? Trying to get into the Biltons upstairs. Oh. So there is my snowflake. And it's still displayed because. Hashtag winter. winter. Never ending winter. Never ending vortex. Oh and I think we're supposed to get more snow tonight. A couple centimeters. A couple centimeters. Oh, hoping, hoping for a snow day. <laughs> and then the next thing I finished was um, Christmas Land um, from Teresa Vignette. And Stitcher. I bought the PDF from her. And there it is quickly there. I scribbled all over my conversion because I used the floss I had because I really want to use silk and I love silk. Her but... mom's doing this and she got all the silks because she bought this pattern in the summertime from traditional stitches in um, I almost said Montreal. Sorry, I'm not going to poke your eye out again. Oh, it's showing up so vibrant. Ooh, and now you're doing this on the called for now fabric. Now I can stand up and you guys, I don't have to hide my tummy. This is the called for fabric, right? Yeah, uh... Vintage pearled barley. Pearled barley. My new favorite fabric. And I used a lot of Valdani floss in this. A lot of the greens Valdani. And what did you do the letters in? Because I really like the color of the letters. Victorian motto, right? Victorian motto. Um, Victorian. Did I just shake the whole room? See the letters? Uh, what did I do it in? <sighs> and then the Santa. Oh, Victorian pine. Yeah, it's really good. See, I've had this done for quite a while. So, um, and I didn't put the pom pom on the snowman's hat, and I didn't put eyes because okay. Santa up there in the sleigh is non-existent. So I didn't. There's no Santa driving the sleigh. Like there's no shadow oh. of a Santa. So I'm like, you know what? That's justification. I am not. And I don't do French knots, which is the main reason, but... I do beads, too. Oh, but I want to frame this with a nice piece of glass, so I didn't want to do beads, because I have a hard time framing with beads. I don't do spacers and professional stuff. <sighs> so this is so... This was a lot of fun. Very, very And it fun. stitched up pretty quick, right? Yeah. If anybody wants the conversion, I can give you the conversion, but it's, like, complicated. Like, because I used, like, not one symbol was the same for each... Thing. And a lot of people have made conversions to this chart. Like, I'm not the first. I love seeing people's interpretations. I know, me too. 
Especially like, with the hands-on design. Yeah, with these guys. Yeah. Like, I've seen some really nice I ones. I know. Sometimes, the fabric I've, too. sometimes I've stitched it. Like, because I stitched January and I stitched February. I'll show you guys another time. And then I was seeing some people's February's version. And I was like, yeah. oh, major envy. But I guess yeah. I could stitch it again. But I uh, don't have time for that. Here is my Sam Sarah um, Bachelor Buttons. That's it there. Oh, you brought this? Yeah, and the only reason, well, it's finished. Did you know it was finished? Yeah, I just, I can't keep track of all your finishes. Right? I know. I'm blitzing. I'm blitzing because I'm about to have no I'm life again. I'm jealous. No, you're not. Are you jealous? No, yeah. don't be jealous of my life. <laughs> Ooh, what bling on there do you have? So, the, the reason why I showed you the pattern is because I added my own bling. So, um, Laura from the Addicted Sisters, she... I saw that she was stitching this. Laura, I saw that you were stitching this. You already know this. And I was like, oh, I'm stitching. It was so funny because I'm like, I have that pattern. So then another video, she was showing her progress and you I know was you have stitching a big stash on it. When someone is stitching something that's not new and you happen to. Yeah. And so then, oh, she's got some really great patterns. Who's this? Sorry. So Laura from the Addicted Sisters. Nancy's her sister. So um, so she said, you know, I saw that you, and then she was disappointed in the, in our last video, I think, that I didn't show. You talked about it. Because I'm like, oh, it. I'm not going to show it. Like, I'll show it another time. But um, she was like, oh, I was so disappointed to see it because I finished mine because you finished your, or because you were working on it and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, and then I felt so bad. So I got right to it, Laura. So it's done. Like, look at that. That's really nice. But Laura changed the colors of the um, flower, some of the flowers, because I looked up bachelor buttons. They're not blue and turquoise. That's a flower, I presume? But. Is Bachelor Buttons a flower? Yep. Uh, so, yeah. So, I added some really cool buttons. and So, my husband saw it, and he goes, oh, what are you working on? He's been showing some interest lately. And he's like, oh, what are you... What are you? He goes, you forgot the buttons in the other flowers. I'm like, no, they're not supposed to be there. I only put what the chart, like, you know... Where did you get that big button? From Mom. Just let a man... Okay, stop letting him in. Close the door and I know, not let him but in. He just yelled up, Are you hungry? <sighs> like, I just let him in the room. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? Are you mumbling? <laughs> Anyways, that's Bachelor Buttons. Ta da. It's all done. I used all the called for floss. And I picked this out at Stitcher's Garden on a trip last year to New Jersey. I'm not going on again. Stitcher's Garden in New York <sighs> is my favorite store ever. I could it have stayed so there all nice. day. And I could have <gasps> bought a home there. Yeah. The houses there. Oh, my it's God. Like, it feels like it's in the middle of nowhere because it's in the country, beautiful country setting. Yeah. It's a barn that has a couple businesses in it. We've linked them before. We We've linked about them New before. Jersey. And check out my Instagram. Oh, we have to go back. And, and, I, and I do want to go back. Oh, was it Citrus Garden that I bought? No, it wasn't Citrus Garden. It was Expressions and Needle Art. You bought this there? Yeah. Can't keep track. We bought a lot of stuff. I bought it specifically because I saw the shop model, and I'm like, oh. Well, this time our trip down is not going to be a shopping trip. It's We're going for the retreat, and my budget's like a third Don't of what it Don't limit it yourselves. You might want to shop. No, I might fly down. Yeah, that's true. Or might fly that, one way. Well, I don't know. Maybe you'll have time to go to Target or something. Yeah, but... Yeah, but if you fly, you won't have a car. The budget, though, is a lot less. And I'm True. there to stitch and visit with my peeps. Right. What else did I finish? I showed... Oh, I finished these things. You show whatever you want. Okay. So one of the things I bought, and I know you're what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, why are you showing that? Because we're not talking about that now. But this is... Me? This is a... Yeah. This is a pattern that I bought on our shopping trip recently. And it's a Blackbird Design book. I really like the one on the back. Show the one on the back. I love you. I like both of them. Ah, oh, I like that you top one. Want to stitch that one? Mm -hmm. You can borrow it. Like it with a really nice blue or something? <clears throat> I love a million patterns in here, but I stitched... Where did you get this book? I stitched this one. Oh, I can't show it. Because the... Just cover this here with that. Where did you get this book? From Gita's. In on our last trip? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. So that heart right there. Isn't it on the cover? Pardon? Isn't it on the cover of the book? Yeah, it is. But the other one. It's but it's right by the price. Yeah, 
I don't want anybody to see how much I paid for this. So, um, I, there's like not very, it's not very big. Like I finished it in one day. I, I started it and finished it like in one afternoon kind of thing. Because I literally took a small piece of fabric that I had. I didn't even measure it. And I'm just like, this will do. And I started stitching it. And look what I came up with. I love this. it. I had it finished by supper time. Try covering up the orb. Uh, the orb. And he's a cute little Isn't birdie. It cute. It's a long and donkey. I use, and I used my own colors from Weeks Dye Works and Gentle Arts. And it is wonky donkey. I don't know if it's supposed to be wonky donkey, but. I think primitive is supposed to be wonky donkey. It's really cute. It's really tiny. And this like, is on a hand-dyed fabric that you got, right? And my phone. Like, it's really... Well, phones are massive these days. Yeah, that's true. It's cute. He sits on my mantle. So there's that. There's a lot of patterns in this that I like. This Blackbird... I know people are going to ask. Let's see. Blackbird Design for My Friend, the book is called. And it is an older one. Uh, 2012. Copyright. So, um, the store in Port Credit had a couple of these of Toronto. issues. So, if anybody's local to us, so you have Port a Credit. book. Is this your only Blackbird book? Yes, yeah, so you have one. I have the sisters one. Yeah, because there's a really you have cool the one that Teresa Vignette showed on her video. Can I see? Yeah, because there was yeah the sisters ones because there's a really cool Halloween piece and I'm all about Halloween. I really like Excuse that. Love one another. It's cute. Yeah, that's your style. I like it too. Luke likes it. He wants me to stitch it for him. Uh, where did I put the... So I didn't get the chance to stitch any Valentines. Lots other than of my plastic February. crinkling here. Okay. And there's like sugar cookies in here. I know. I kind of wanted to make them. And I bought the heart and everything. The templates. But... What do you mean the heart templates? I bought the, the heart stand cookie cutter. Cookie cutter. That's what I'm... I don't bake, so I was struggling for that. It says you have to bend it. And I was scared to bend it, so... Okay, continue. And then I started this Blackberry Lane Designs Counter Blessing Stitch by Stitch. Where'd you get that? Do you remember? Mm, I don't. Oh, I don't know. I forget. It was on the New Jersey trip. I lost my mind. Oh. But I I enjoyed myself losing my mind. So I love the way it's finished there, but I do not have that talent what? to do that. What stitching? What is it? It's stitched in like a little box. That's not stitch in the box. That's just no, I know, but it's box. finished in the box, and I don't have that talent. I like or the means to go find that box. So, <laughs> I wanted to finish it right away. So, and I didn't do the words. The words on it says "Count your blessings, stitched by stitch," and they're all one over one. And I don't like one over one, so I'm like, forget it. I'm not doing one over one. So I didn't do the words, and that's kind of why I like the pattern. The words really spoke to me. But and look at what. I it's did. Now, she posted this on her Instagram, Simply x stitching, but it didn't look purple. The fabric no, it's didn't purple. look perfect, but it's that. Can you guys perfect. see purple? Does it look purple? Yeah. Like a lilac color? It's like my wedding color. This kind of hurts my tummy to lean on the table like this. but. <laughs> so, And I found these cute pins in New Jersey somewhere along the way. Don't I think know they where. were from Needleworkers Delight, were they not? Maybe. And, the and trim, I put them where the words were, right? Tell them who gave you the trim. <gasps> Lori from Once Upon a Stitch. Lori, does this look familiar, this trim? It's your trim. Lori gave everybody who attended the retreat a baggie of white and red chenille trim. And so I knew that I had to use the red for this because... And I would have never put a red border around this. Did it not call for it? Yeah, it called for it. It called for three Turkish red is mm, what it's called. That's a nice weeks. color. Oh, it's so Turkish nice. Turkish red. And so I've got this batik red, and I'm like, I've got to do red. So I did it, and I filled it with crushed walnuts. Same thing with the little heart that I did. So look at the little, and look at the little sewing basket. Look at that little tomato. Oh, you can't even see. Yeah, you can. One over one little, that's oh, kind of blurry. Did you do one over one? Uh, yeah. Oh, two over one. It's so cute, little, little scissors. One. And I stitched this while watching some really shady Dr. Phil episodes. <laughs> we'll have to talk about that after. But, yeah. And the one thing about this chart is that the designer's initials, the year was down here. 
yeah, the year was down here and over here were her initials. But she didn't give alternatives for the initials. And I kind of was like... Like letters? Letters. And so I could have made up my own because I've got lots of charts with letters. But I thought, you know, that she should have maybe included that. But, but I think it looks really good just stitched across. So it used DMC and then three... Um, specialty floss. Was it all called for? Did you use all called for? Yeah, I used all the called for. And the dress, I think it's called Sugar Plum, the dress. But anyways, yeah. Oh, it was so nice. <sighs> she had posted this finish and I didn't even know she had started it. <laughs> I know, I'm sneaking them in because I'm worried I'm not going to get them. I'm not going to. I think that's it. Oh, am I showing this? Well, let's save that for next time because you've shown a lot. We okay. still have whips to do and we're yeah. on at 35 minutes. Yeah, I'll show you that another time. Plus, Please. you need to hold stuff for when we, you're not stitching as much. That's true. Okay. So now we're going to talk about some whips. So why don't I'll, you... Do, no, you... I'll do that in the hall. Why? Because I don't have much to show. Just show, show your whips. Okay. So, um... Because I had, I didn't have a small thing on the go. I think it was before I started. I didn't iron it, but that's okay. But I, I didn't have a small thing on the go, and I've been taking my daughter to a, like a preschool program for 90 minutes once a week. So I just want something while I wait. And I ended up taking this last week and put some love into it. So this is Not Forgotten Farm, which is in the air. Just quickly, there's the chart. Which is in the air. And it says witches. There are witches in the air. There are witches everywhere. I guess I shouldn't turn it to stitch it, should I? I'll tell you that story another time. <laughs> I have a piece that I turned. I'll tell you that story another time. Okay. So, I'm doing it on a, like a mustardy yellow type of Zegwart fabric. Hardanger. Hardanger, 22 count. And what I stitched, you guys have seen all up there, what I stitched was down in the corner here on the right-hand lower corner. So. And the next time I do anything on 22 count, I will not be using two strands. I'm using all anchor floss. Isn't that so cute? I have to admit, I'm loving, I like this chart, but it's really thick, dense stitching. And stitching one color isn't totally... I like thing. it. See, I'm the opposite. When I did Nightmare all in one color, I really liked it. I, I like the color changes. See, I think it's easy, and I stitch up my on my lunch at work, so it's easy. You don't have to think about it. Because I also like having, like, when I finish stitching for a period, like a time, um, I like getting the needle all ready for the next time, so I can just sit down and start already. Yeah. It's easy when you're doing one. It is. And when I'm doing it, I'm not disliking it. It's just that... Take my new sweatpants. I got them at the grocery store. Your sweatpants? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I digress. What do they say? They say something on the side. In Canada. <laughs> like what grocery store? Fortino's. Are they Joe Fresh? Yeah. Well, they sell clothes. Yeah. So you're supposed to be grocery shopping, and there you are shopping for clothes. Well, I need a That's pair of sweatpants. That's distracting to have that clothes there. And who puts clothing in a grocery store? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was really stressing out about what piece I was going to do for the nursery. Because you did one for your oldest. Did one for my oldest. And I stitched her Beatrix Potter themed. Um, it was a kit. And I showed it in one of our earlier videos. And I had it professionally framed. I love it. And it's a fair size. Like, it's it's quite a fair size. I think you showed it in our Valentine's Day video last year. because I think so. I was stitching, yeah, the Hearts of the also Kingdom. You were doing your rosemary. Rose. Yeah. Rosewood. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so I've been re I was really racking my brain on what I was going to stitch for the nursery for the new baby. And I didn't, I think while I was doing that, I wasn't sure if it was a boy or a girl. So they told me it's a girl. I guess there's always a chance it's not a girl. And, uh, if that's the case, if it turns out, to, if it comes out a boy, then I'll just give this to my daughter cause she loves it. But, um, does she know that you're stitching it for yeah. baby? Mm hmm. Is she okay with that? And I showed this before. Yeah, she's okay with that. And I should, well, I don't know if she knows what that truly means, but <laughs> um, we'll find out. Um, I showed, in a, I think the same video that I showed that, I showed a piece that my mom stitched me when I was a kid. Yeah, okay. The rocking so, horse. So this is what I'm stitching. Without further ado. Without further ado. 
Sorry to make it painful. I'm stitching Teresa Wensler, Sweetheart. Is that now what this it's is, Yeah, this is my pattern, actually. Yeah. Because when in doubt, when you have nothing to stitch, go to your sister's house. Yeah. So this is what I'm stitching. And I knew that based on the one my mom did me that the pictures don't do it any justice but holy smokes i first started stitching it and i was like oh my god I warned so her. many partials lots of partials and lots of tweeting yeah and I, the tweeting's not too bad as much as i think i was warned about but the partials are like cuz i'm doing the carousel and and the color that i'm doing it on i was stitching the gray part and the color that i the color that I was doing it on, um, this was better. So that's like what I have so green. far. It's like a mint green fabric that I'm stitching it on. And I got this in New Jersey. Did you? It's a silk weaver. Yeah. Why is it so small? I just, I got a piece. No, I cut it. Oh, so you got a fat quarter? I don't remember. I bought so much. <laughs> so, and what I've, what you can see, except for the rocker at the bottom, I've done all the back stitching. So as I went along, I did all the back stitching. Yeah, because I... Yeah, because she warned me. She's like, you do the back stitching or you're going to... As gonna... you go. As soon as you can do it, do it. Like when both stitches on either side of the back stitch is yeah. being done, definitely So I think... The picture doesn't do it any justice on the... Well, we all know that, but... I, I love it when the... I couldn't see it. Did it show up pretty true to color on the camera? Can you see? Or no? You can't really see it. Yeah, it's pretty true to color. Maybe it's coming out a bit more. It's a little bit more pastel -y in person. It's nice. I really it's like so it. It's so much fun. So, yeah. So, I started off not really liking the partial stitches. And so I'm doing it on 32 count. And... Um, you were also unsure I'm of the I'm loving fabric. it. And I was also unsure of the fabric. But as soon as I got the pink on it... Okay, so that's what I'm doing for the nursery. Mm -hmm. And I've been really wanting to show you guys this. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks. and I just couldn't show you and then not tell you why I was stitching. Is that your only whip? Mm-hmm. So that's what we have been working on. That's all we got. Well, she's got other things, but she has to spread them out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, next we're going to do haul. So I will go first. Yeah. Hey, guys, super excited about this project. I am doing the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Sal. So now this is a new to me designer. She is out of the UK, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Her name is Sally. Her name is Sally. She is fantastic. And actually, check out her website because she's got quite a few um, really great freebies as well. So if you sign up for her newsletter, um, you get all of these freebies. And she just came out with a Valentine's Day one. So this is a nine-month sale. It just started. And she's got lots of different options. You can buy the full kit like what I got, or you can buy um, just the PDF pattern. You can buy the paper pattern or the, every combination that's pretty standard. So I'll t show you what comes in the kit. I was going to You were going to do, do this too, too but with baby I coming. can't commit to yeah. do it. As frequently as they come out. Yeah, so she, like I said, she's out of the UK. So I'll show you what comes with the kit. So the first thing is this needle That's miner. That's so cute. Yeah. And it comes with the, the good magnet as well. Um, because I find see that? that there's some that are, I don't know, they're not degraded. Like they, you got to be careful what you use around because things stick to it. And then that's cute. you get like cute a cute little, little card note. And that it's on. Yeah. So I am doing this on a even weave Lugana. So it's not really showing up well, but it is a sand color. So it's called Seize the Day, mm -hmm. and it is a beach theme. And for whatever reason, I'm all about the beach theme because I did my Lizzie Kate Life's a Beach mm -hmm. um, and I really had a lot of fun with that. And I'm liking anything with whales, I'm noticing, or like starfish. I'm really, really loving it. 
So it comes with this card and look at look at all those these colors. colors. Now I haven't started yet because I need to finish my commission piece. That's going to be done any day now. Like look that looks nice. how yummy this is. Oh, I got to put this needle miner down. I like playing with needle minders. <laughs> yeah, you don't use them. I use them, but I don't use them the way they're intended. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a 28 count. And I'll show you the fabric. This is the size. Mm -hmm. That's nice fabric. Yeah. Really nice fabric. So seize the day, Sal. I'll so link it below. We're going to link all the information to her website as well. Um, she's done a number of sales. Um, this is the third or fourth one. And yeah. So do you have the first piece of the pattern in there? No, because I'm getting them by PDF. And oh, okay. the first one came out and I only printed off the pattern. So it's just a blurred out version. So it's just the blurred out finish. So the finished size is stitch count 147 by 205. So I'm doing the equivalent of 28 counts. It'll be nine and a half, just, no, sorry, just over nine inches by 12, almost 13 inches. So mm -hmm. it's a Zyguart fabric. And if you don't buy the kit, if you don't get the kit, you just get the um, the PDF pattern. Who does not love PDF patterns? Oh, and it's instant. It's instant. I love PDF patterns. Yeah. And so it's all I think DMCs. My first, I think my first one that I bought was Christmas Land from Teresa Vignette. And it no, that's not the first one I bought. That's one of them, but. Yeah, so it's all DMCs. So, check me out on Instagram because I will be posting it all my progress so I probably will be able to get started on this this week so you can watch my progress lots of people are doing the sale and um, I believe uh, Pam from uh, just to keep stitching she's doing it so um, it's great I really recommend her she's so nice so personable it gets back to you right away she's in the UK look at Carlos that's the caterpillar that's his name? Yeah, his name is Carlos. <laughs> That's cute, she named it. Mm -hmm. She got a few needle minders, and this is not the only one I liked. So, there you go. Seize the day. So we'll link all the information below. It's a nine-month sal, and comes out the 25th of every month. And I'm about to start month one. There's people that are at all different stages. So, that's my whip. I haven't started it yet, but as I said, I'll uh, be able to start this week. So our next video, I will have the first month done and maybe some of the second, depending on when we mm -hmm. when we do it again. It's been two months since our last video, so. We'll be back at least once before you have baby. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So, what do okay. you... Oh, should I continue my haul or... You go. Yeah, continue your haul. You don't have to show everything. You didn't get much, though. I spent very little because I'm going to the retreat. Ah, that's so cute. What? That little I Love Strawberries. I forgot you had that. Yeah. So I bought this. Well, now that she... Show them. She, yeah. So this is I Love Strawberries. Did you know strawberries? I'm Strawberry Stitcher on Instagram. Strawberries are hip. <laughs> They've been hip for a long time, though. Strawberries are in. Thing. Strawberries are in. So this, Mom texted us and said, strawberries are really in. I'm like, strawberries have been in. Like When we first started, she like, first hello. started Instagram. I'm like, oh, I've got an Instagram. Because I have a personal Instagram and then one that's just stitching. And I'm like, oh, I'm. she told me she was on Instagram. And I says, oh, so am I. She says, yeah, no, I'm following you. I says, no, I started a new one just for cross-stitch. She's like, oh, what's your name? And I'm like, strawberry stitcher. And she's like, your strawberry stitcher? Because she's like, that was such a cute name. But then I went to their profile and they had no pictures. So you had just created it. <laughs> I just it. created it. She's like, I didn't want to follow someone who had no pictures. So it was a dollar. That's so cute. Yeah. So how can you go wrong with a dollar? Oh my God, those charms are adorable. And then I got um, January Bent Creek. January. Look how big fat snowman. At first, I didn't know what it was, and I'm like, what the heck is that? You didn't know it was a snowman? Well, I, I'm i looking at the iPad thing. 
Yeah, it's a snowman. So I know January's over, but. And then, um, how do you say this? This is tra la la. What does it say? January? Snow. Snow. Oh. This is a tra la la pattern. Uh, look at this. Look how fat he is. That's cute. It looks like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it's Maybe in he's having a baby. French, but I believe it's called Red Rabbit. No. Something. I don't know. I, I wrote it down and then I didn't put the sticky in it. Like, look how cute. Is it my shaking? Who are you like? yawning? Oh, what's in his... He's got a little bunny in his basket. I bet that's one over one. Oh. Ugh. One and then the only other thing I got was uh, the oh, yeah. Winter like Smalls that. by Lizzie Gates. Because I really like this winter. So now you have summer one, right? No, I don't have summer. You don't? It's the only one I have. Oh. And then there's a couple of Maybe them. Kim has it. Maybe Kim has it. Kim, do you have it? Well, not that it matters. I'm just... Um, it I just was looks thinking like maybe you beach. had two of the collection. No, yeah, that's what it reminds it me looks, of. Uh, life's a beach. I was just thinking, oh, maybe you have two in the collection, but now you have to get the other ones. Yeah. Nice. So, I mean, I could whip up the winter. I like that. Because once I finish my Seize the Day, depend, I, I'll, I'll get it done before the next month comes out, so I need to do something. So, and struggle is real. Struggle mm. is real. And that's it. I'm really controlling myself. Oh, yeah. We all don't need anything. So, I showed you that Blackbird design book. I bought that. And then I bought... Where's my... Oh. Then I bought this. When You See Me, Remember Me series, Blackbird Design. Series of nine family history patterns. And I don't know. There's something about the pinks in this that I really like. And the little vines, like, going all around the house. Sign me up. I don't know. It just really spoke to me. So I bought that. You have series. You get, you're so attracted to series. Is series. I'm not going to do the series of this. And don't think to yourself, yes, what you say. Because that's not what you do. <laughs> okay. I am attracted to series. And, yeah. and but, Blackboard but has really nice series. just in case, this is number one. In case I change my mind. Then this is a pattern that I've had for a while. With thy needle and thread. And it's, um... Brenda Gervais. And it's... And I bought the floss for it. So I had that in there. It's kind of glary, but... So I'm going to do, it calls for all specialty floss, but I'm going to do the pumpkin and I'm going to do the green vines yeah, and the rest, I'll, see and the rest, yeah, the rest I'll use, well, it's very muted. The rest I'll use what I have. So I bought the floss for that. I bought the floss for this chart. She kits up projects. I buy new projects. I kit them up and then I lose interest in them. So little house, true story. You think I learned my lesson and stopped kidding things up. So, Little House Needleworks. This is you the think spring I ABCs. Up so that I could actually stick and it, if you guys have been watching for a while, I've got a thing for spring. I don't know if it's because I have babies in the spring or what, but I love spring stitching. So, that's the spring ABCs. And that's all the floss that it calls for. It's, there was two that it, like, uh, for example, the my needlework shop, they didn't have old marigold, so I got Colonial Copper for my classic color works. And they didn't have Stormy Night, so I got Dublin Bay by Classic Color Works. Close enough. The The lady at the shop had a really good suggestion. She said, if you don't know what that color is, pull the equivalent DMC if they list it, and then match up to the DMC. That's a good idea. It seemed like, obviously, you would do that, but it was a genius idea. And then I got the hands... I've had this for a while, this hands-on design pattern. The last time I was at the shop, I bought this pattern. Okay. So Deb from Country Stitchers stitched this, and I w loved her her conversion. So I bought all the call for floss that Deb did. So I bought Deb's conversion. And the fabric that I bought to do it, like Deb, I didn't even like research or like pull these colors. I wrote their colors down, and I went and bought them, and I didn't even like do I like them. I just knew I would love them because yours is gorgeous, and um. What's this fabric called that I bought? Autumn Field by Silk Weaver. It's a Belfast. Belfast 32 count. 
How am I going to hold yummy. this up? It's like... Yeah, there you go. Oopsie. Okay. So that's the fabric and the floss that I bought pretty, that day. Pretty we had yummy. fun. That was fun going spontaneously. And then we got lunch. We got dinner. Kind of looks green on the camera, but it's not. It's I find it. Yeah, then mom gave us dinner. Yep. You think it looks kind of green? Mm -hmm. I think it is green. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. Stay tuned for when I stitch this someday. Oh, I'll be so deep in diapers. I won't be teaching this for a while. So, um, that's, that's what I bought. Got? Yeah. That's it. That's all she wrote. Mm -hmm. So we are at just under an hour, so it's pretty good timing. Um, yeah. Okay, anything else? No, I don't think so. We'll try to come back when we can. We we'll didn't have any questions. We didn't have questions in our last mm -hmm. video. If you think of something that you'd like to know, leave us a message, comment down below. And let us know if you had any questions. Yep. And subscribe if you like us. We'll probably be back once don't more before baby comes. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? No way. So subscribe if you like us and if you don't unsubscribe. There's lots of There's lots of people to watch out there. Right. Anyways, everybody, have a great Sunday. Yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Fingers crossed for a snow day tomorrow. Oh, you want another snow day? Yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, that has to work tomorrow. Stitch. Come on. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Stay okay. warm and cozy, and we'll see you in a little while. Bye. Okay, bye.